We've been talking about who succeeds Governor Adams Oshiamale as we look ahead to the uh, governorship election, which we will hold on September the 10th, 2016. Let's quickly go to our Abuja studio, where a former member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Wes Idawoso, joins us now. Uh, with what has played out today, for example, look at the fact that uh, two members of the APC, candidates in the exercise, Ken Omar Swagmon, Chris Ogewonyi, uh, are uh, uh, querying the outcome of uh, the APC primaries, and they're saying that that exercise was electronically rigged. What do you make of the situation in the APC, for example, on one hand? Well, I, I think that um, they have the right to query it, but the most important thing is that do they have the evidence? And beyond that, the APC has a machine uh, to put his house in order. Uh, going by what we saw, uh, we are not quite sure what type of evidence they may have presented to the media. But I have no doubt at all that the APC have, may have put it in place their reconciliation machine, because I do know uh, that they are right now going uh, around the aspirants who may have participated in this exercise and uh, hopefully they, they, they think that they can bring everybody uh, to the center table where negotiations uh, can be reached to work for the party. If one, one will wonder that, that this kind of fear was raised earlier by some of these candidates when they were at that meeting. We heard clearly what Mr. Maswagman had said before the exercise held on Saturday and Sunday. Mr. Chris Ogewon, you two, has spoke, spoken about this exercise. Uh, uh, General uh, uh, um, uh, Ihevere also spoken about this incident, that there might be some level of imposition, and they've said that the governor supports this man. Does he speak volume about what exactly has played out in the APC? And would this really be helping the party going forward? Well, you know, you cannot undermine the fact that um, the governor himself will probably have the right to support the candidate of his choice. And then, of course, there will be suspicion and distrust when that is perceived to, to be so. But the significant point is that was the elections largely free and to a large extent fair? It does appear that from what we saw on the screen uh, on Saturday, it would appear that the election may have been free. But whether it was fair is a matter of perception because every candidate will have formed an opinion about the circumstances uh, under which such a contest was being conducted. So again, this is about politics, and it's about who gets what, how, and when. And I think, once again, negotiation, interpersonal skills, and uh, intrigues will be the way uh, to deal with this kind of problem. Honorable uh, Wesley uh, you may not have been to a boxing bout, but uh, from what we've been able to bring out in the images on the screen between the two candidates if we may just put that on again between mr uh izi yamu and mr baseki with uh, the governor adams of Shumere looking at up there looking out there you go the two of them they're in the boxing bout ready for the big battle these are frontline candidates what does it play out in your mind Looking at, uh, you know the politics of Edo State very well. You've been in both parties, APC and PDP, and you know what could play out between these two parties on the field of play. What kind of uh, contest do you foresee this time around in Edo State? Well, I, I, I see it as basically a Muhammad Ali against Joe Fraser fight. <laughs> the type of fight that will take a long distance, a lot of wit, a lot of skill, a lot of technicality. These are indeed super heavyweights. Mr. Yamu, mm -hmm. truly a heavyweight because he's been on ground for many, many years, a tactician, great organizer, and a uh, very brilliant politician. Uh, Abbasaki, a brilliant person, and a quite interesting, great thinker, great economist, great planner. Um, so he will be a battle of two prominent Benistons uh, from high pedigrees, highly educated, highly respected. In fact, it's probably going to be one of the best contests we've ever had. So we wait to see uh, how this is done, but certainly 
This could be a battle that will go across political parties. It could be a battle about individuality. It could be a battle about perception, a battle about pedigree and, and capabilities. So we want to see who will outsmart the other, but certainly there is a fight in the days and weeks of months to come. Well, no the, the day, the D day, the day is coming, September 10th, 2016, of course, Channel Television. You know what we do best on Channel Television, keep you up to date with news and information, especially when it comes to politics and elections. Uh, we won't let you leave your screen until we give you those who emerge winners in this world. There must be a loser. There must be a winner. Let's quickly flip the plate now and go to some other issues of the day. Let me allow you to listen to some of the senators at uh, the Constitution Amendment exercise and the retreat held in Lagos. A lot of controversies generated in that. They're talking about several issues, from the issue of separation of powers to the issue of state curation and several other is issues that have been raised. But these senators actually talked about what exactly this exercise put in for the nation. Let us put into the Constitution, I mean Section 9, and make a provision on how a new Constitution can come into effect. <clears throat> because right now, what you have is how an, the Constitution can be altered, or if you like, amended. But there's no specific provision on how a new Constitution can come into being. So we can in, in, incorporate that in this amendment, or in subsequent amendment, in which case, we can now sit down when that provision is passed. And so, okay, these are the issues of restructuring we need to address. And so, Nigerians will meet and agree on all those things that they believe needs to happen. Restructuring is just part of, you know, the ideas and the opinions being shared and um, put into the fore. If you look at what we are doing now, it is part of um, ensuring that Nigerians get the best out of um, their elective, you know, officers, particularly the legislators. And why am I saying that? The issue of constitutional review uh, is something that must be regular, particularly in a situation where Nigerians um, voted for change and it looks as though what they, they, they really voted for is not what they are getting. A lot of issues generated from that issues of pension for principal officers and the National Assembly. First and foremost, as a lawyer, Honorable Idaos, uh, you've been at the uh, National Assembly before two terms. The, the, the Constitution Amendment exercise as it goes on now, is it legal in one sense? Some of these issues, are they morally right for the lawmakers to take on? Well, as you do know, um, law and morals are separate and separable. There is no question about the fact that uh, morality is one thing and law is another. Uh, and again, if you look at the items that they are, they are discussing, they are within the competence of the National Assembly, indeed the competence of both houses. Now, if you want to talk about the morality of what they are discussing, there is no other body charging law uh, to discuss the questions of review, amendment, alteration of the Constitution, or even possibly uh, a chance of writing a new one. But the big question is, should every issue be constitutionalized? No, that's my, question, that's my answer. The Constitution is not a plaything. It's not a document for lawmakers to toy with. It's not a Constitution made to suit the whims and caprices of people. It is made for the growth of a nation, for the good governance of our country, and for the peace and stability of our nation. So matters like pension should go nowhere near the Constitution. There are enough laws to deal with such matters in this country, and right. I do advise the lawmakers hmm. to stay very far from pension matters and allow pension to be in, as part of the dynamic laws that are capable uh, of being changed subject and sequel to the environmental factors of every society. Okay, thank That's you so much. Take, mm. uh, on that. Okay, thank you so much, Honorable Wes Idaosa. My guest on the program, Honorable Wes Idaosa and uh, Honorable uh, uh, Ubome Pasca, who has been talking to us from uh, uh, Benin to the We still get you guys to talk to us uh, from my colleagues. Uh, there they are. Uh, thank you so much for being such a great company also. Thank you so much. Bye for now.